Angelica Navarro de Paz was born in the year 1977. In her adulthood, she met a man named Jose de Paz, and the two married and had children together. While still married to Jose, Angelica began a relationship with a man by the name of Brandon Mendoza Flores, who she identified as her boyfriend. Back in the year 2014, Angelica traveled to Mexico and met up with Brandon's sister, Anayeli Mendoza Flores. Angelica offered to help smuggle Anayeli from Mexico to the United States, and Anayeli agreed. After Angelica made it back to the States, she began giving Anayeli instructions and steps to complete in order to make it to the States. Finally, Anayeli made it to San Antonio, Texas, and Angelica picked her up. Angelica then let Anayeli stay in one of her rental properties, but little did Anayeli know she was racking up a debt with Angelica. Anayeli said that Angelica was soon demanding that she be paid $40,000. Anayeli, of course, did not have that kind of money, and she felt helpless because Angelica threatened to assault her if she said anything to anyone. Angelica was a self-made businesswoman who owned Angelica's Cantina in Austin, Texas. Angelica claimed that in 2016, she started getting harassed by a Henrietta Martinez, a.k.a. Katie. She said that Katie ran with a bad crew of people who harassed business owners and demanded that they pay them rent for protection. Angelica was ordered to pay $300 a month, and she said that if she refused, they were going to kill her family. Katie and her crew ran the territory her cantina was in, so there was nothing she could do. She also claimed that at times when she didn't pay or missed a payment, her cantina would be vandalized. Angelica said she was even more afraid when they started forcing her on car rides, they would take her on a ride to show her where they would hurt her and explain how they would hurt her. Angelica eventually assumed that her boyfriend's sister, Anayeli, was working with Katie because of her $40,000 debt, so she started asking around to see if anyone knew someone who was willing to kill Anayeli. The San Antonio Police Department's High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area's detail received a tip that Angelica was looking to hire someone to murder another woman, so they planted an undercover cop in the mix. The undercover cop was successful in meeting with Angelica, and Angelica ended up agreeing to work with him to follow through with her wishes. They negotiated on multiple occasions, and on one day, they met at South Park Mall, and Angelica agreed to pay the officer $1,700 in total. She paid him half of the money up front, and agreed to pay the other half once Anayeli was dead. She told the officer that she did not care how Anayeli died, just as long as she died. She explained that she wanted her dead because of her $40,000 debt. Because Angelica paid the undercover cop, the sting was over and she was arrested for murder to hire. When trial began, Angelica did not deny hiring the hitman, but she claimed that she was the true victim because Anayeli was working with Katie and she wanted to protect not only herself but her family as well. Angelica's husband took to the stand and said that his family was truly in danger. Even though Angelica was cheating on him, he stayed loyal and cried on the stand and tried to tell the court that Katie came to his place of work to harass him, but prosecutors objected as hearsay. My children are in danger. I just want you to know that you have to follow the rules in this room. And so the, the law is just that right now I have a chance to speak. I, I have to say that they are in danger. Judge Melissa Skinner eventually had to clear the jurors because of his emotional outburst and his talking over the state. The court was also not able to bring Katie to the stand because she died in 2021. It also turned out that Katie was an informant for the police. Angelica was facing up to 99 years in prison and no one was buying her story nor her husband's emotional outbursts. In closing arguments, prosecutors said that Angelica had five years to go over and memorize a fake story. In May of 2022, she was found guilty and sentenced to 20 years in prison. She will be eligible for parole after serving five years in prison. <laughs>